Hi everybody, I'm Nancy from Desert Haven and today I want to talk about everyday grooming for work. Every day for every kind of job, everyday grooming. Consistent grooming and hygiene is very important for every job you'll ever do. Every day you have to bathe and shower and apply deodorant and brush your teeth and choose clean unwrinkled clothes every day. Employers expect you to already know how to come to work dressed appropriately. This is not something they will train you at a job. You must show up clean and neat every day without having to be told by your supervisors. In fact, your family might tell you if you have food between your teeth, but an employer will not. Your coworkers might not until you get to know them very well. You really have to look in the mirror at home and ask your family do I look okay? Check yourself from head to toe. Remember that proper grooming is going to make you look like a more professional employee. It's going to help you feel more self-confident. It's going to be more impressive to your coworkers and Usually when you first start a job, you'll get a copy of the dress code so that you know what you're supposed to be wearing and what you aren't supposed to be wearing. If you have any questions about that dress code, ask. Don't just wear something and then say, oh, I didn't know I wasn't supposed to wear that because, yeah, you got a copy of the dress code. So it's a company policy in most places because they um, want everyone to look nice, good grooming, and a professional appearance for everyone that works for them. You might be provided a uniform at your work. You might supply the uniform yourself. You might just get to wear street clothes. Whatever it is that you're wearing to work must be neat and clean and in good condition. When your clothes start to wear out and they're not the right color anymore, or they've got holes in them, or they've got those little pills everywhere from being worn too much, it's time to replace those clothes. You can't just keep wearing them. If the company has provided you that shirt and it's worn out, then you ask your boss for a new one. And generally they will give you one because they want you to look nice and neat all the time as well. Clothes should fit you correctly, not too tight and not too big. Clothes that are too big can cause safety hazards. Clothes are too small, you might not be able to do your job right if you can't bend over because your pants are too tight. Shoes should be clean every day if you or they're dusty or dirty or you've walked in the mud, clean them off in the morning before you go to work with a wet towel. Um, some shoes can be thrown in the washing machine and that's always a good idea, but keep your shoes looking neat and clean as well. Most jobs do not allow earbuds or sunglasses. Some jobs allow hats and do not. It's important to ask questions about the dress code at the beginning of your job so that you know. When in doubt, Ask your boss, can I wear a hat? Can I wear sunglasses? Can I wear my earbuds? Sometimes just one, right? Um, ask questions and you'll find out the answers. Make sensible choices about your work that you're doing every day, what kind of shoes you wear, what kind of clothes you wear. You're not going to wear high heels to be a janitor, right? And you're not going to wear tennis shoes if you have a job at a fancy department store. So a lot of it depends on where you work and you can look at other people and see what they're wearing or ask your managers if you're not clear about the dress code at your job. Don't let your hair or your eyebrows or your facial hair get all straggly and gross. Keep your hair trimmed and looking neat, whether it's facial hair or the hair on your head or your eyebrows looking nice. Good grooming requires thinking about your body from head to toe. You want to make sure that your hair is clean and neatly styled. Make sure that your facial hair is taken care of. Choose appropriate hairstyles for work. Getting up and getting out of bed and not doing anything at all to your hair is not good grooming. Do something to your hair every day. Guys should comb their hair and people with longer hair should put it up in a ponytail. Um, sometimes you have to keep your hair back for your work if it's a restaurant or a safety situation, but make sure you're doing something to your hair. Don't just crawl out of bed and come to work. Back up to the face again. Talked about facial hair. Guys can have facial hair. That's awesome. It needs to be neat and trimmed, not just a full 
beard. Keep your grooming private. Uh, don't floss your teeth in the lunchroom in front of other people. Don't pick your teeth in front of other people. Don't pick your nose in front of other people. Don't pick your feet in front of other people. Grooming is a private thing. Go in the restroom if you need to do something like that to groom yourself at work. Do not take shortcuts and try to mask the smell by putting on extra cologne. No one wants to smell you good or bad, so just be clean and you won't have to worry about how you smell. If you're not sure how you look or how you smell, ask someone in your house or ask your family or a trusted friend or a trusted counselor to give you an honest opinion of your grooming and that's the best thing you could do, that and look in the mirror to see how you look every day. When you come to work neat and clean, you feel better about yourself and you do a better job. You'll have more confidence and people will respect you. Remember that employers will not train you on how to groom yourself every day. This is something you need to know now before you start your new job.